We've all got all sorts of things we want in life, and we've all got all sorts of things we need in life. I want to go on a ski trip with my friends a couple times a year, but I need my dog to have unlimited treats, toys, and cuddles. Have you seen that face? Regardless of our dreams, we can all probably agree that money is nice to have. And while not all of us will achieve a yacht in the Mediterranean type of fortune, is that Pitbull? Mr. Worldwide! That doesn't mean we can't experience a comfortable level of financial freedom for our specific situations. The key to achieving that financial freedom for many of us is creating and sticking to a budget. You think guitars just grow on trees? No, I budgeted for these. 72 guitars, I don't even know how to play. In this lesson, you'll learn why it's important to have a budget and how budgeting actually gives you freedom. Why it's important to have a budget. Let's start with a quick definition. What is a personal budget? Well, a personal budget is an overview or summary that compares and tracks your income and expenses for a period of time. People typically budget on a month to month basis. While a budget is often tracked monthly, the benefit goes well beyond just a handful of weeks. A budget helps you figure out long-term goals and gives you guidelines on how to achieve them. It gives you a sense of control over your money and stops aimless random spending. It's $26,000 yeah. worth of sides? <laughs> Did you really need to buy that foot massager you saw at the checkout line at Target? Eh, well, maybe, but probably not. DIY, yeah, oh, this is good. In all seriousness, life is unpredictable, but having a budget will allow you to prepare for life's ebbs and flows. Different people budget for different reasons. Some people want to simply manage spending, others want to save for something special, and hey, some people realize they just need to cut back on certain areas of spending. Budgeting gives you a sense of security when plans change and gives you confidence in preparing for life's big moments, like going to college. Hey, are there any parties I could get into? Or is that creepy? <laughs> Buying a house, home sweet home, and I'm broke. Having children is the greatest day of my life, and also the day I realized I have no money left. <laughs> and planning a vacation to get away from your house and children. I budgeted for about like three years here. That should be good. Think of budgeting like a warm blanket on the cold, unpredictable night of life. Wow, that was poetic. Maybe I should budget for getting my master's in poetry. Bottom line, having a budget is important because it allows you to work towards long-term goals and be ready to face whatever life throws at you how budgeting actually gives you freedom. Now, I won't blame you if your gut reaction to the word budgeting is, that sounds like a buzzkill, but the opposite is actually true. Budgeting isn't about limiting the fun in your life, it's actually about creating more opportunities to have even more fun. Budgeting your money gives you flexibility. You might create different categories for spending, but you can adjust how you're distributing money to each of those categories, as long as you're not spending the money you allocate for savings. Plus, people with a budget end up saving a lot more than people without one. While that might not sound super sexy on the surface, having more savings over time helps you build a nice nest egg. And when you have wealth later in life, you'll experience true freedom. I had the whole front extended in order to fit the chopper up there. See that? For example, instead of working well past the typical retirement age, you could be yucking it up with Frank and Betty on the golf course, or sipping margaritas on the beach in Hawaii with Frank and Betty, permanently out of office. Who are Frank and Betty, you may ask? I I'm not really sure, but they seem to be into doing really fun things. I like them. Hey, actually, now that I think of it, budgeting to build wealth is pretty sexy. The average credit card debt per household was over $7,000 in 2020. That just illustrates how living life can be really expensive. We need money to get by. And even when we have it, it's easy to spend more than we should. It's important to create and stick to a personal household budget to give yourself freedom, both in the short and long term. Just ask Frank and Betty.